Good evening and welcome back to Factory Town where our pickaxes are being sold beautifully. The, the guns are here, they're being sold, everything is working fine here. If I go to supply, here we are, we are supplying 75% of people with uh, pickaxes. So, um, well, 60% of the population have got them and they're 75% happiness, which is awesome. That makes sense because we're only selling to this town here. We are not actually selling to the other town over here. So that does make sense. We could set up a thing over here to do it. We've got plenty of iron and stuff. In fact, there's loads of iron over here. And we do need to look at that because um, this little guy here is running out. He's very struggling. And uh, this is barely getting enough iron to run. It's kind of just ticking over on time. But if any of these want anything, it's going to struggle. So I'd like to do that. I'd also like to sell more um, basic hardware. I'd probably want to sell uh, reinforced planks. Which will be made here and we could sell quite easily. Problem is, if I do that, this is then going to be making reinforced planks, which is going to slow down the amount of pickaxes we make, which causes problems. So we really want to ha really want to have a second workshop that um, is making the pickaxes or the re well, pickaxes. We'll put, put another workshop over here to make the pickaxes and then um, uh, we could sell we can output them and sell them, yeah, and, and I think that's going to make more sense. So let's start with that. Let's start by putting a pick, uh, one here, and you're going to make pickaxes. Boom. You are going to stop making pickaxes. So let's go to the recipes, and let's just tick reinforced plank. Boom. There we go. The reinforced plank will come over to here. Um, no pickaxes coming over to here. So I'm going to get rid of these guys. I'm going to put in another grabber. You're going to do reinforced planks coming out. Awesome. Okay. We are then going to... Um, up to there but um, but what i want to do is actually want to put the um pickaxes into the barn first because we obviously want to have the barn for ourselves i'm also going to change this one to not be an output so we keep reinforced planks behind as well and then we're going to sell both of them through this this place here so let's uh bump and then you want to be uh reinforced planks there but, um, okay so you output reinforced planks to here and there so you'll split evenly between the two that's fine. You've got a steam booster. You're doing all the work here. That's not a problem. Um, and then you are going to output your pickaxes. So we're going to page up with this. And we're going to run it this way. Then we're going to put in a... Gra move that that way. Put in a grabber. Yeah, like this. And you'll take the, the amount there. So that's fine. You also need metal. Um, that's not a major problem because we have metal right here. So uh, we can't really come down if though this is this is kind of the limit of our up and down here. So yeah. Um so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn that off temporarily. I think we're going to move this. So let me uh do this. Oh We'll that. Nope, hold on. Uh get one on do. Nope. Nope. I wanna come down with this one, don't I? Copy that. Uh, no, I wanna copy the uh the slope thing underneath it, but it's not gonna let me copy the slope thing underneath it. That's fine. Come out uh come out and go to there. Yes, that's what I want. That's what I want. And then from here, we're going to come along and do that. Okay. And I'm going to rotate that to be facing that way. And then we're going to get a pusher, which I don't... Oh, we do have pusher. Pusher right here. Boom. That. And you're going to grab iron plates. Put on. There you go. So iron plates come out, and they will go into here first. And then after they've gone to here, they go up there, which means we need to desperately get more. So I need to boost this forge, or... Um, well, it needs more supply. It needs more supply. So let's work on that. So down here we have more iron. So I think we're going to work on the, that here. So let's clear out a, a row through the trees here. This. Let's flatten the land down between it so we don't go up and down with our shoot at all. Let's copy that and paste it in here. Um, I'd like to get all of them if I can. Um, but I can't really, so we'll put it in here like this. Well, let's, let's just uh, 
put it in here like this and grab those ones on, on the surface. And then we'll move it over once it's grabbed the ones on the surface to be a bit more central. So we'll drag this out like that. But oh, nope, that's a mistake. Those out. Do that. But there you go. And then let's add 10 workers into here. Hammer time. Go, 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 go. Okay. You're just going to get stuff off the surface. You will mine underground just those little ones you have access to there. You won't mine the rest. But that's fine because I want to move you over later to get access to other uh, to the rest of them. So, so um, yeah, that's a, another thing. So this is going to go here. This is all going to start backing up now, which is awesome. This is kind of what we want. We want it to back up. Um, I think what I'm going to do is put in a storage here for this. Um, so uh, we're getting a, um, a buffer stuff here so let's um get rid of those copy a barn put that there grab the grabber and now you can use a barn um as a splitter rather than outputting and splitting three ways we could put the barn further in there and, and output three directions from it which is a better way of doing it um because it's kind of it's faster you're not limited by the speed of the first belt doing three of them so it'd be faster for all of it in this case it's not so bad we're uh we're not really struggling so so it should just be fine um Although he says, and it does look like we are struggling, actually. So that might just be the fact of that this is. Yeah, I think this is just not outputting fast enough for it. So so let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get rid of these. Like this we will move you up to there. We will connect the input to there. We'll get a grabber and we will go grab, grab. And we need to get inside here somehow, which is very difficult to do. Because the game, this is as far as you can zoom in. Like that. Put on. That should be quicker because that output now should be much faster. Because it's only one tile long. Um, the actual outputting from a barn one tile on a shoot is actually very quick. So you see this is filling up here now. So we haven't got to go out from one and then split three ways. It's now three ways coming from this, this one area here. So yeah, okay. Hopefully this will fill up this here. Uh, it's a little bit slow. Um, we could speed it up by having two of these on separate runs, but I think overall we're going to start filling because this is actually going to start backing up a little bit. So, but yeah. Um, okay, so you're making the pickaxes, which is awesome. You're making the reinforced planks, which is awesome. You're not getting as much iron as I'd like you to get. Um, uh, I can't really speed drop anymore. We could put, add more coin boosters to you to make you faster. I think we're at a stage where we need like a second forge doing the iron as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, which we could do. We could make this forge do both. This forge could do iron and nails. Um, for us, let's do that. Let's do iron plate and nails in this one here. So it's slowing down the nail production, but it gives us a little bit of um, iron plate production on top of it as well. We just need to have a second output from it. Now that's easy enough done by doing this so we put the the uh, wooden pillars in rather than the wooden um, arch and then we can put in a one there and we can go up and put one in there and they will both output from this part so we can do this one here is going to be iron plates and this one here is going to be nails and there we go now you can output two on the same space that you basically had one before because um, workers could not get underneath here now it's not high enough for them they need two tiles to get underneath here so um whereas here they can get underneath because this is two tiles high uh, but it does still allow the uh path to connect everything to the town center so the town center um influence is still being run by the path so that's fine there uh, i'm also going to just connect the path up there just to um there we go that's as far as our influence goes at the moment that's fine when's our next upgrade uh we need 500 purple coins we've not even looked at purple coins yet okay I'm just trying to sort of catch up with other things going on here. So, so there you go. So now we've got, you are actually hammering, doing basically one a second, which is quite nice and getting a bonus every now and then. You're getting the bonus as well, um, but you're going much slower, um, but that's fine. You've got steam booster still as well. Uh, we could double the steam booster now. So let's do that. Um, so you're getting a little bit more coming in, uh, which is beautiful. Uh, so hopefully that will do here. So we're going to keep 250 back for ourselves. The nails are dropping. That's the concern that I was worried about. I, I need to make sure this is still working because obviously we are now using the reinforced planks not only to make pickaxes to sell, but also to sell to sell. So, yeah. 
Although, it does look as if we might have saturated the market for wooden planks. Yep, I think we have, because you have got 20 wooden planks in there, reinforced planks in there, sorry, and uh, aren't selling them anymore. But that's fine. That's fine. That just means that they're not selling, which means this will start filling up with storage. And once it's filled up with storage, this won't have to work as hard. So, yeah, although it's not struggling. It's not, we are, we are, we are making enough here. Um, just making sure that the uh, nails, which are going down, do start going up again shouldn't be a problem i think we'll be okay we might have to add like coin boosters or something to this one to make it a bit faster but we should be okay although um we're now not getting enough uh um yeah we're not getting enough uh ironing so yeah so i'll do this here um i think these are turning here because they detect this is busy and every now and then it'll pop out there i kind of want to stop that um because i want to make sure that this has its own flow and this has its own flow so they can all do their thing um, and i think a shoot is fast enough yeah well shoot is fast enough to even do 10 workers maybe not with a happiness bonus um if we this had a happiness bonus it would be too fast for it but i think 10 workers in a barn uh, sorry in a mine um is enough to uh to get this all going so okay okay so this is good now so this should start filling Excellent. So we're getting a surplus of iron ore coming in. Uh, you are full because steam parts. We're not using steam parts right now. This is just a, a thing, uh, a, a temporary sort of connection. This is this is this is fine. We could also make you do iron as well, and but that's awkward to get into there. Uh, you could do iron plates and just supply this guy with iron plates. So, but but it, it, it's fine. It's fine. Um, the iron plates are well, they're not filling. The nails are now filling. So that's good the nails are going up and that's probably because you know you haven't filled up yet um yeah the nails are increasing again so this is this is good this is good okay so i think you're only supplying the barn to sell at the moment so that's this is working this is working awesome okay okay so there's a hardware up to 100 percent happiness awesome clothing is the only thing i need to get to 100 percent happiness which means we need to sell something else in here we could just do things like sell cotton um or shoes or something um it depends on what, what we want to do we, we basically want to get money we want to get money so let's have a look at our um goods let's scroll down to the red coins and let's come up to here so warm coats we're selling right now aren't we hidden that Doosh, bump. yeah warm coats we're selling so the next one is cloaks but i don't want to sell them because that's two happiness we need three so we could do if we just wanted the money you could sell that and not worry about the happiness that's that's the thing you could do and get the most money in i tend to try and balance things choose the next one which is 12 um requires leather and nails so yep um if we are going for money wise however i could look down here and i could try and figure out what the best consumption rate is um to sell things um see how much money we get per consumption rate so you know, that's a uh, every minute that produce, that gives us 12 red coins um because the consumption rate is 60 seconds whereas this gives us eight in 60 seconds so that's bad that gives us three red coins in 45 that's bad uh, oh yeah no shoes are the best way to go shoes are the best way to go shall we do some shoes let's do some shoes we're gonna need a new system for that though because we need nails for it and this is struggling so yeah oh excuse me um so we are not getting any leather anywhere in here are we we're getting leather down here are we yeah you're doing you're doing leather we're not really getting any leather in though you are not running at full speed does that mean you're struggling you are indeed struggling okay oh i'm struggling losing my voice as well um why are you you're just struggling because just you're just you're just juggling because of speed. Let's upgrade this pasture twice. Um, because we're now plus one speed. So that'll make it faster. Um, hopefully that can produce enough. Going on to make to speed this up to get this going here. So we'll need another system like this put somewhere. Um, get on there. Uh... I am tempted to... Oh, we're selling warm cloaks out here, actually. I am very tempted to take these houses, put them up here, with the influence of the main town, 
and just make a huge belt in the sky which comes down and takes warm cloaks and um the research down I am, I am really tempted to do that just to um just to get everything like unified in one place and get our get the happiness bonus. We don't need the happiness bonus really. Um, what we need to do next is actually technically work on purple coins. Um, because I'm trying to get the happiness bonus going and things, and then I'm kind of realizing that I don't necessarily need that. Although we're only the next one's level nine, so um, uh, purple coins, purple coins. What sells for purple coins? So let's see, let's see. Purple, purple, purple. What have we got here. We've got mana brick. We can sell mana brick for purple coins not great uh wards um the necklace is oh didn't we have a trading post somewhere that did something like that uh not you you are still producing this stuff here so you're doing your thing here um i, I put three workers in here so it's getting one uh one tomato uh a second um so that means technically every um four seconds we should get a rail from here so yep uh, there was a trading post yeah gold for ethers can't sell ethers so yeah there's a trading post there uh, which has berries for cloaks now this is something uh, we are selling out the berries for cloaks so this this is a good one we could actually use this one to sell goods to us because that's technically free berries sell for two yellow coins and we're converting five berries so that's ten yellow coins into twenty red coins what, this trading post here so that is fantastic that is fantastic i could even get like a wagon going on and get a, ra a train a, a, a path going up to here and we could sell the stuff backwards and forwards if we wanted to um general store says so we could probably run a path along down and get a wagon uh picking them up and going backwards and forwards and dropping stuff off and selling but but what i'm looking for is i'm sure there was one that had a necklace wasn't there Trading post. Uh, no, converting necklaces to magic cloaks. That's not what we want. We don't want that. Thought it was the other way around. Um, something else as well that you might have to have a look at um, is uh, you, you know, I'm, like, I look at these and go, that's not a really good deal. That's not great. But maybe, um, you know, like a, a, a gear for an axe might not be a great, a great real thing to us with it. You know, it's not. It's one gear for four axes. So that is actually pretty good now I'm looking at that. That's one iron plank, uh, iron plate for um, technically four iron plates and four wooden planks. So that's that's not a bad thing. We're trading five red coins for uh, thirty-two red coins. So that's pretty good, actually. I've missed that one. But um, what can happen sometimes is that you look at it and go, ah, that trade's not all that great. And then you go to another trading post and go, ah, that trade's not all that great. But if I trade um wood for coal then somewhere else might have coal for something else then somewhere else might have uh, like this might have like coal for cheese and then somewhere else you're going to have cheese for um diamond necklaces and you're like well hang on a minute that means i can just make wood run it around the three trading posts and i get necklaces from wood and all, all i've made is wood so yeah um uh, i didn't that's actually a very good a gear for a wooden axe is very good and we could sell the wooden axes and get loads of red coins for it so uh, unfortunately it's kind of out the way i'm not moving the trading posts um for a convenience sake i'm not going to move them to be like oh we need that so we'll move the trading post down here i don't think there's any research to move trading posts so you can't do that the reason i moved those is because we originally wanted to put the town over here on the desert area i still kind of want to do that i think this is going to be the magic place so the town the, the magic town is going to be here so this is the corner of our and so like this is this this uh this town is here oh okay must remember to turn my alarms off before i record as well um yeah so uh this town this representation of this town here is going to be on this desert so that's going to be the corner of our place and then everything is going to be beyond that maybe because i kind of want to have the omni temple here so yeah we have to figure out the distances i don't know if that's gonna fit stuff in there and you've seen the uh the size of the town it's gonna be 11 by 11 um grid 
with a 5 added to it, so that's a 16 times 3. Um, it's 48, and then you double that because you have to go the other side. So that makes the things 96 tiles long. So if that's the centerpiece and we have a town here in the corner, 96 tiles long, this might not fit. We'll try. We'll try and get it here. I don't have to put the Omni Temple in the center there. It doesn't matter. We could move it. We could choose this area and go, this is the corner. We'll move out from here. Um, also, this could be that one. So this could be the corner piece. And then we have a big gap in between the towns. And then we do the next town over here. Um, mind that? Not not opposed to that sort of thing. We could, we could we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, Either way, purple coin. So uh, yeah, there's no. I thought there was a trade trading post that had um, uh, the ability to make to give us necklaces, but no, it's taking necklaces. It's not what I thought it was. So okay, in that case, um, that's not a bad uh, trade either. Two metal plates for um, that's that's uh, ten red coins for fifty yellow coins which is a downgrade but um anyway so let's look at trying to make a, a necklace is kind of expensive to make um they uh um where am i magical supplies no luxury uh yeah they uh require earth coins and things so you can't really do that i can't do anything in luxury right now because it all requires magic magic supplies again kind of requires magic apart from mana brick we could sell the mana brick so let's do that. Let's just sell our mana brick for the time being. Try and get some coins in. So we've got mana brick here. Let's put in a general store. I think the mana brick sells in the general store. Nope. Speciality. Uh, build. Speciality goods. Let's just put it here. Boom. Like that. In fact, we'll... Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then we'll put a thing there. Uh, oh. Ah, naughty auto save. Boom. There you go. And then you're just going to sell them to these guys here. Which will give us some purple um, coins, which is nice. Uh, obviously, we are selling. Oh, we're not selling enough. Uh, oh, oops, 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 oops. Come on. There you go. Well, we won't send the water to the other guys as well. We won't do that. You're going to sell the coins, so you're going to fill up because you're producing more mana brick than I think you're producing more mana brick than they need. Um, nine, ten. I'm gonna actually move some of these houses. Um, do this so boom, like that. Okay, and then let's go underground and uh, do this. So there you go. Boom. We've got ten, ten houses. Um, like that. Make, it's easy to add up. Easy to add up. Uh, we can actually put five, ten more houses down, so I could put more houses here and um. Yeah, we're not actually doing enough uh, magical knowledge to keep everything happy anyway. We are we are desperately... Yeah, we're like two out of ten houses are happy for the magical knowledge. So we need to speed up the magical knowledge as well. Um, but I'm not too fussed about the magical knowledge right now. That's purely just taking in so we can do the research. But that's not a problem. Um, selling the brick might be a bad idea. We might be selling too much brick. I'm not sure what the actual uh, consumption rate of that is. Uh, 60 seconds. They'll eat one every 60 seconds. Um, we can also build timers and things to uh, like release. So we need. So that's every um, two and a half minutes they want one. So if we released uh, 10 every two and a half minutes, we could build a timer that only lets this output. One every, so the consumption's at the lowest rate, so we don't get as many purple coins in. But purple coins is what we want, so consumption's higher. So realistically, we're looking at every 60 seconds to uh, get a mana brick in to sell it, because the consumption time is 60 seconds. If there is no supply, obviously then the happiness duration starts ticking in. But if another brick comes along within that time, they will consume it. So the minimum delivery is 60 seconds. If you have more, more than that, it will sell them. The maximum is 60 plus 90, so two and a half minutes. Um, so. Um, so we will be making 10 every 60 seconds, 10 a minute. We are making one every 10 seconds right now. We're slightly above that. Um, 
so um yeah we need this this probably needs to go a little bit faster so uh although maybe not maybe just the, it was in the initial surface i'm looking at it again actually with 1.8 happiness bonus this is producing so this is doing 10 every one every 10 seconds which means it's six a minute but we're almost double speed which means it's going to be 12 a minute slightly off that 10 a minute 10 a minute seems about right i think this is working if i put more houses down it won't be working but that's fine we could put more houses down here and sell more but then we'd run out of brick and so on and so forth so um yeah i think we're uh i'll watch this we'll watch this we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes we need to get some purple coins in to upgrade the town center that's fine um we are almost there on the rails i think we're close to getting the layout of our town done so i'm going to go around and flatten the whole terrain everywhere um with a few exceptions obviously i don't want to take out this pool here or i don't want to take out this pool here because we're getting water from them um so i'll go around and flatten the whole sort of area and then next episode we'll come along and try and figure out the layout of our city the uh, the multiple towns try and figure out exactly where we want things to be i think and then we can sort of take it from there so so yeah let's leave it like this Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. And I do hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.